Hey everybody, I'm Matt Austin. I'm the Director of Education, Training, and Outreach here at the Women's Center of Greater Danbury. So we've been putting out a bunch of educational videos on our channel on YouTube. So today we're going to talk all about what the Women's Center is. Uh, we are the primary resource for victims and survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault in Upper Fairfield and Lower Litchfield County. Uh, we serve 13 town service area, or we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so if you, primarily we work with victims of domestic violence and sexual assault, but we can help with any sort of life problems, life transitions that you might uh, encounter. So let's talk a little bit about what the Women's Center is. So some of our services, as I said, we are a private nonprofit social service agency serving Upper Fairfield, Lower Litchfield counties. And I know sometimes people say, well, what does that mean? So the 13 towns that we serve are Bethel, Bridgewater, Brookfield, Danbury, Kent, New Fairfield, New Milford, Newtown, Roxbury, Reading, Ridgefield, Sherman, and Washington uh, in alphabetical order like that. So the state is uh, divided up into different agencies that take different pieces of the state. So those are the towns that we work with. If you were in a town outside of that, um, we can still uh, connect you up with the agency in your area. So you're not out of luck for help. There is an agency in your area, no matter what area of Connecticut you are in. And not just Connecticut, across the United States, there are agencies in your area. So all of the services that we offer are free absolutely free to anyone who comes to us, no charge, and confidential. Um, what does that look like, confidential? So we keep things private unless it harms yourself or someone else. Uh, otherwise, we do keep that information confidential. Uh, 24 hours a day, our services are available, seven days a week. Uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. There is someone picking up the phone to help you at the Women's Center, whether it is a counselor, whether it is an educator, whether it is a volunteer, there is someone there to help you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Uh, we are called the Women's Center of Greater Danbury, but we serve anyone of uh, individuals of all genders, anybody, any gender is welcome to our, our services. So sometimes there is a misconception that we are only for women. We are for anyone of any gender can come uh, and receive our services free of charge, like I talked about. So let's take a little more deep dive into what we do at the Women's Center of Greater Danbury. So some of our services, risk assessment, safety planning, and trauma management with clients, um, with folks that come and need that safety planning to get out of a situation they are currently in, uh, trauma management. Uh, we have counseling services. These are our main counseling services right now. We have advocacy um, at the hospital. We have advocates that can go uh, to the hospital with you and help you through the different processes there uh, if you need those services when it comes to domestic violence and sexual assault. Um, we have police uh, advocacy, um, folks that can help at the police station, and with different social services uh, across, the, um, across the spectrum there. We have court advocates, people at the Danbury Superior Court who can help with any questions that um, you need answered regarding services or help you um, get a protection order or support you at hearings, help with victim compensation, lots of different things that we offer through court advocacy. Uh, we have emergency residential facilities if you need to get out of where you are living because there um, is uh, an emergency situation. We have a residential facility, a uh, residential transitional facility that you can come stay in. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, we have individual and group counseling, domestic violence, uh, on divorce, in, uh, incest, sexual assault, self-esteem, self-care, lots of different um, support groups that we offer. And we also have child advocates. So we have counseling uh, for the younger folks as well. Additional uh, referrals to the community is a safety net. We have a 
a whole network of community partners. So if we can't help you or we can't help you directly, uh, we will connect you up to the service in the, our community or in your community um, that can help you. We also have an education department, education and training. So we go into local schools, colleges, organizations, businesses, and do uh, education programs and training programs on various issues related to domestic violence and sexual assault. So let's talk a little bit about that. Let's talk a, a little deeper into what we do. So our counseling services, we have uh, currently the support groups that we have, Breaking the Silence for Female Survivors of Sexual Assault, Voices of Courage for Male Adult Survivors of Sexual Assault, SOAR, um, Survivors Overcoming Abusive Relationships, Thriving Women, um, Thriving Women in Portuguese, and Thriving Women in Spanish. Um, it's important to know that our services um, uh, we have bilingual counselors, um, we have trilingual counselors as well, so um, our services are not just in English, um, and no matter what language you speak, we use Language Line at the Women's Center, um, so we are able to help you, so there isn't that barrier. So those are the support groups that run on a regular basis at the Women's Center, dates, etc., times. Um, you can check out our website for all of that information, how to get into one of those support groups, etc. Um, we also have individual short-term counseling. Uh, we have individual counseling, one-on-one -on -one counseling that we can do with victims, survivors, um, secondhand survivors, victims, etc. Um, so we, uh, our crisis intervention, like I said, we have 24-hour hotlines, 24 hours a day, someone picking up the phone to help you. Our uh, two hotlines are sexual assault hotline or our domestic violence hotline. We have walk-in services. You can come to our physical office at 2 West Street in Danbury, uh, right next to the library. Uh, if you know where the library is in Danbury, right on Main Street, we are next to that, right on West Street. Um, we have lap assessment um, through the police. We have risk risk assessment, like I said, safety planning. Um, we can sit down and make a safety plan with you, how to get you out of a situation um, that you may need help and trauma management through counseling, et cetera. Uh, I mentioned with our advocacy, we have advocates at the hospital, if you need someone to go with you or want someone to go with you um, to uh, during procedures related to um, domestic violence and sexual assault, there is someone uh, that can, can go with you. Again, all of our services are free of charge. We have court services if you need legal advice um, and how, how to um, fill out certain forms, help filling out uh, form support during hearings, et cetera. Um, again, advocacy with the police on campus, um, on campus at the Western Connecticut State University. We have, on, we have a, an on-campus office that is one of our satellite offices. So our main office is to West Street. We have a satellite office at the courts, the Danbury Superior Court, and a satellite office in, uh, at the downtown uh, Western Connecticut State University. Um, so on that campus, we have counseling, we have education programs uh, happening through there, and that is, that is specifically for um, students of Western Connecticut State University. We work with social service agencies across uh, our 13 town service area, and we are also advocacy through legislative action. Um, we have folks working on um, legislative uh, pieces or uh, writing up uh, support for bills, etc. Our emergency residential facility, as I said, uh, Elizabeth House is our residential facility. It's uh, for women and children fleeing danger or violence in their homes. Currently, we have 13 beds on on-site support services. We have counselors. We have uh, folks working at Elizabeth House, and it's a confidential location, um, obviously, uh, for confidentiality reasons. We, those folks at Elizabeth House receive crisis counseling, advocacy, assistance, rebuilding their lives. It is transitional housing, as I said. Um, sometimes we get the question, how do you shelter men? Uh, right now, our facility only um, shelters women and children, but if men need uh, need sheltering. Um, there are facilities throughout the state that we work with, uh, and we can shelter them there. But currently, our personal facility um, houses women and children. Um, an average stay, frequently asked question, average stay at that facility, um, usually a month or two, that transitional housing. 
um, again, we help that those rebuild their lives and through our many, many services. Education training and outreach, the part that I am in charge of. So our education programs go uh, from kindergarten all the way up to senior citizens. All of our programs are free with the exception of our professional trainings. We um, free of charge for schools and organizations, but if we have a professional training for a corporation, sexual harassment training, those types of professional trainings, we do, uh, we do charge for those. Other than that, they're free to local schools and organizations that would like them. So our youth prevention education programs, preschool through college, preschool, kindergarten through college, um, focus on domestic violence and sexual assault, obviously age level appropriate. So pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, we're talking about care and kindness, whereas up at the high school, college level, we're really talking about domestic violence, sexual assault, bystander intervention. Um, the middle school side of things, we, we talk about um, healthy friendships, healthy relationships, uh, empathy, uh, lots of different topics that relate to uh, domestic violence and sexual assault. We come from a place of primary prevention at the Women's Center. So it's important for us to, uh, we like to say an educated community um, is a, a safer community. So that's where we come from. So we have adult education programs too. Any of our education programs can be adapted for any age group. We do those professional trainings, like I said, for corporations, et cetera, if, they, if you would like us to come. Um, we also oversee staff trainings uh, and volunteers uh, and interns throughout the year. So whenever the staff needs to be retrained or certified, everyone at the Women's Center is a certified domestic violence and sexual assault counselor under state, Connecticut state laws. So we are there and we oversee that department. Our department oversees that training. So again, as a reminder, all of our services are free and confidential with the exception of our professional trainings um, and uh, available to everyone, regardless of age or gender. Anybody can come and use our services. Anyone is welcome at the Women's Center. Uh, like I mentioned before, we're bilingual, bicultural, trilingual, et cetera. Um, none of that should be a barrier. We can help you no matter what. Um, so please remember that. At the Women's Center last year, we helped over 31,000 individuals um, with direct services, meaning counseling, um, support groups, et cetera. Last year, the Education Training and Outreach Department um, saw over 28,000 students um, uh, in our education programs. We did about, I think it was 1,700 programs uh, last year and saw about 28,000 students. So uh, a lot of things. Last year, we saw over 2,000 victims of domestic violence, over 1,000 victims of sexual assault. So that was uh, the year 2019. So just overall, very simply, we are here for you, the Women's Center. We are here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, we are here for you. If you have any questions, please visit our website, wcogd.org, uh, or give us a call. Uh, give us a call. Let me put those phone numbers back up. Um, those are our hotlines. You can get a hold of us 24 hours a day. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, check out some of our other education videos. This is an overview of the Women's Center, but we have domestic violence, uh, we have a sexual violence, we have a one on consent, a lot of different fun education videos that you can use for your students or people in your life. All right, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.